Ahoy there, Elder Scrolls Legends fans. I'm Dead Broke Nerd, and uh, yesterday on stream we played around with mid Battle Mage uh, for the first time in a long time. I uh, I haven't messed around with Battle Mage in a while. It's a very difficult deck to pilot, and I just hadn't put a lot of the practice in. But I said, hey, you know what? I keep hearing people talk about this this mid Battle Mage thing, uh, and using the new Alfik Conjurer, which I hadn't gotten a chance to play around with a lot, but I I know is is a really very strong card. Uh, so I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and learn mid battle mage a little bit. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of trial and error. Uh, there was a lot of uh, a lot of trial and not too much error. We ended up going 15 and two. Uh, yesterday on stream, I'm not just making this up, guys. I mean, it's all right here. I mean, holy crap! I mean, did this did this go well? Um, the, whole, wow, it was a ton of fun. The deck feels so potent. I mean, there's so much you can do with it. You, there's a very flexible game plan in there, um, and mid battle mage definitely rewards somebody who pays very close attention to how their opponent is playing. Um, it, it's a deck that really wants you to make sh make the most out of your resources, and that's an important part of playing it. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, it's it's very similar to the deck that's been being played for a while, and and it was big in tournament scenes, and and maybe it's a testament uh, to the testing sphere on ladder being a little bit unrefined and this taking big advantage of it. I think there's a little bit of that in there. I, I'm sure my win rate would not have been quite as good uh, if I'd been running into, you know, a lot of the, the super high level, um, you know, super refined decks from Alliance War meta, but I, I'm still very convinced that this is a, a potent deck. A lot of people seem to agree. There's been a lot of chat about this. Um, so I just want to show you the deck. Now, th this is heavily influenced by Flo's list uh, that he used at the Last Chance Qualifier, so I'm not claiming that this is my original creation because I, I didn't create mid battle mage mid battle mage has been around for forever right but what i did want to do is show you the list i use to have a lot of success so if you want to give it a try you have a place to a starting point um that you know uh is is respectable at least i mean enough respectable enough uh so here's what i used okay um i kind of want to start with the alfie conjures because this is the new car that uh, that really kind of has seems to fill in a little bit of the gaps in mid battle mage right because it gives you a guard but it also drops another very aggressive creature behind the guard uh which i think is very important right because you can consume a creature to summon a flame atronach but if you consume an atronach you can summon a storm atronach now that's very nice because you have breton conjures as well a classic staple in mid bm or at least in kind of the, the slower mid bm uh, which summons the uh, a five five Atronach with guard. Well, if that dies somewhere in the mid game, you pick up an Alfi Conjurer. You can blow up that um, <clears throat> that five five Frost Atronach, and instead of a Flame Atronach, you'll get a Storm Atronach. Which uh, Flame Atronach being a five three breakthrough, you can see there on the screen, uh, and the Storm Atronach being a seven five with Ward. That's a big difference right there. That's a huge distribution stat. And even at its worst, Alfi Conjurer is a uh, eight, an eight seven stats distributed. A across two creatures uh, for six. That's pretty darn good, okay? Um, now, the rest of this list is pretty, um, pretty important in that, like, you can adapt to an aggressive game plan from your opponent, or you can get aggressive yourself with a lot of big, beefy creatures, okay? We've got the Cradle Crushes. That helps a lot with all the tokens that are running, out, are running around out there. That's why I have three, okay? Because I think it's really important. There's a lot of Spell Sword I saw, and this guy was an absolute beast in handling them. Uh, Belligerent Giants, these guys are awesome. Destroy supports, but they also bounce guards that are stopping you from getting lethal. Just a really, really strong card in general. Mighty Conjury, I'm only running two because I only own two, and I don't feel like crafting another one i don't have enough uh, gems right now anyways right blood dragon through on kana that's the top end uh now as we get further into the lower end this is the more controlling side of the mid-range deck right this is the stuff that's going to slow down an aggressive opponent as opposed to this stuff being okay now i'm going to drop a bunch of proactive threats uh to try to win the game uh this is the reactive stuff that that tries to uh destroy the opponent's creatures and control the game so that you can get to this part right uh, I did include Blast Bones. This is a new card. Uh, it is a Charger 3 attack, and uh, it last gasp to deal 1 damage to all creatures in the lane. It can trigger the ward off of Breton Conjurer, but more importantly, uh, it can do pretty nicely against a lot of tokens. That's why I included it, but I mostly included it because it is a dope premium, uh, and it actually doubles as a little bit of reach uh, thanks to the charge. So that I just want to tell you, you don't have to have this card. This is not an important card to the deck, but the one copy actually served me pretty well in a few games, so you can try it if you want. Um, everything else is pretty typical, and, and if you do want to cut the Blast Bones, I'd say another 
earthbone spinner would be solid. Um, Besides that, I mean, a lot of the stuff is very typical mid battle mage stuff. I'm not gonna, you know, bore you with the details because you've probably seen it already. Be very careful about your withered hand cultists, right? Uh, you do have 12 actions in the deck. This is just thoroughly necessary against something like tribunal. Um, but when you have this, you want to make sure you play these cards out either first or understand that you may not have them for a turn or two uh, at the mana cost. So just be very careful with that. Uh, I'm done rattling, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach some of the gameplay from yesterday's stream. Uh, once again, it was extremely successful, so I hope you guys give it a try. If you haven't already, I know a lot of people are on this mid-battle mage grind, and I respect it because, holy crap, this thing felt powerful uh, so take a look at those videos uh or those games and um yeah give it a try it's uh it'll I th I'm, I'm fairly certain it's got a bit of a learning curve but it'll serve you quite well anyways guys i'll see you out there on the ladder and uh thanks so much for watching enjoy the gameplay and you know i do like that they've given spell sword a little bit of love you know the apprentice necromancer was was quite good for them get that marked man back Get more tokens out. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> no, no. Ooh, I think I get rid of the Withered Hand. That's a little bit better. I mean, the Withered Hand's still here, but we got a lot of good 3-drops. And we have Ring. Passerino. Let's see what he leads with here. Uh, Daggerfall. Opens with the Barrow Stalker. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, uh, we're gonna go Doomfang. Give me blue! Can I see blue? Nope, I get red. Do I want to lesser ward it? Probably. I mean, that stops like a... a scimitar, so I'll lesser ward it. It's cool to see the other dual colors compete with Seder in terms of tokens now. Yeah, no, for sure. Quicksilver crossbow. Ouch, that is a punish. I didn't expect to see Quicksilver crossbow. Did not expect Quicksilver crossbow there, guys. There's a negation! He's got the answers. This dude's got the answers! Um, we must remain steadfast. La da 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 da. da, 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 da. That's not right. It's Slay. Blech. It's plays, who plays Slay? It's Dragon. Dragon Slay, I guess. Da -da -da. <laughs> it's so funny. I love Luzra. <laughs> but uh, we don't have much in the way of card draw here. We, we're probably going to lose this. He had two great answers to our early game threats. Although... Although... <laughs> although... <laughs> uh... I mean, we're just gonna play the second Candle Crush, right? So you go like this. Swing for eight. <laughs> We've got three Cradle Crushes! <laughs> Do I trade? Do I trade or do I just go face? I just go face, right guys? I just go face! What has he got at 8 Magicka? Is there- okay, help me out here, guys. There's nothing at 8 Magicka that stops this, right? Get out of here! Get out of town! <laughs> Freaking Luzra, dude! Freaking Luzra! Oh my gosh. Like, nothing there- yeah, nothing in Daggerfall does that! Like, oh my god! That was nutty. Just stick a Luzra and uh, watch the opponent cry, I guess. Is this guy gonna play the game? TV and Shook, yeah. <laughs> 
Exactly. Ahoy, Test Legends fans. Ahoy, Legends fans. Exactly. Y'all, y'all get it. Y'all get it. Everybody's got to. I mean, everybody's got to have that uh, that thing, you know. All right. I, I just play Lesra for the board presence, right? I just play Les uh, Lesra. Yeah. I need a pirate deck. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's not a lot of them, but you could run like the pirate captain, the, was it the uh, seasoned captain or whatever? Yeah, okay. Well, if you were gonna play this, wouldn't you just... See, that doesn't make sense. I'll get this yet! <laughs> Moonface Suthe is gonna get the stats. Get those stats, son. All right, so we'll just uh, we'll just dump the Doomfang ally. Yeah, we got Ward on him. Nice. Yep. This one will be going now. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I could blast bones, right? It peels my ward, but it actually uh, removes the Suthe as well. What's the is okay? Let's look at this. What's better here, uh, the Blood Dragon, right? Because right now, right now he is removing. Yeah, I don't want the I don't want to play Blast Bones. I just want to play Blood Dragon over here. Because right now it it takes both of them to kill this. So that equates to the same thing, except the creature I'm sticking is not as good as the creature as a blood dragon, so. I mean, I guess he does heal a little bit more, but that's really not a big deal. I mean, here's the question, right? So, like, I probably wait on the conjurer until I can mighty conjuring next turn. No, I mean, I guess this could get, like, mummified or something stupid, but... I'm just gonna Doomfang. And then hope that I... Actually, I want to roll Strength on this one. I didn't. That's okay. So next, I'm gonna try to mod... I'm gonna try to Mighty Conjure next turn. If it doesn't, I'll Conjure. I'll, I'll Feek. Ah, oh, it's a Leaf Lurker. Now, oh, well. So then we'll... Alfik Conjurer. Uh, and that gives us... Uh, where, where do we want to put that? I mean, we put it over here, right? We swing for three. And do I want to jump field? Now... Yes, I want to jump field, don't I? Yeah. Always got to make sure I actually have something in there to consume. Yeah, punished. True. I got greedy. I got greedy. Um, and I think I'm actually going to lesser ward my flame atronach here. So that I can hopefully stick it around for the conjuring. Now, if this guy had been strength like I asked him to be, <laughs> we'd be in business, but. Uh, pirate deck, you've got a few like the Nibbin bar cutthroat and the Camelot Sentinel throwing a load of mud crabs. That's true. We can just do a an island themed deck. <laughs> okay, and then what, a Viper? A Dark Guardian? Okay, yeah, we're in business. Now I want to play around. Um, I want to play around uh, um, Brahmin, right? Which means I I mighty conjuring over here. So I go here, three conjuring, yeah. Because red Brahmin has got to be the most infuriating thing when you're uh, 
<laughs> when you've stacked a lane, you know? Is this the 1-7 Danger deck? It could be. You mean the, uh, the Wound Scout? I don't think so. I don't think so, but I mean the the leaf lurker makes me makes me wonder. But all right, there's a sank pet, and a necromancer is gonna pull back another sanctuary pet. I'm sure. Okay. Sanctuary pets, uh, they are irksome. So my thing here is I want to harpy this. I want to ward crafter Watch yourself now. This, this one is in no mood. and go kill. But then do I want a lesser ward? Do I want to use this last lesser ward? Do I want to lesser ward this back? I think I leave it. You think you'd hold then? All right. It's tough. The double the double sanctuary pet. Hold on, I gotta respond to something. You are going to have an island themed deck. They need to print Pina Colada Atronach as well as uh, Sandy Thong Alfeek. <laughs> Pina Colatronach. Yes, <laughs> Pina Colatronach. I love that. <laughs> uh, beach clad Aquilarios. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So he had another Necromancer for another Sanctuary pet. Ouch. Okay, okay, uh, <clears throat> So I just go face with everything here, don't I? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 puts him to... 9? Nine. 9. I have 3 charge from hand, what, I mean, I guess I'd play some stuff out afterwards, though. So go 5. Three. I will have your head. Two. Two. Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to get brahmin here. By the fires of oblivion. All right. Uh... SPF 50 ward. <laughs> I'm just trying to preserve as much of this as I can just to avoid the Brahmin. Okay. Interesting choices. So no Brahmin. How are you going to live through my field line? Debilitate? Debilitate. It's debilitate. No, he didn't swing face. He didn't swing face. He traded. Oh, he's got a Moon Touch Guardian. Okay. I don't think that's enough. That's not enough. And blast bones! Yeah! <laughs> yes, blast bones. Yes, my one of blast bones coming in handy. <laughs> Love it. Blast bones MVP. 